Good morning, Texans. This is Alan Spade with This Day in Texas History for February, 20, uh, February 3rd, 1836. William Bear Travis arrives at the Alamo with 30 men. Captain John Hubbard Forsyth, who died at the uh, age of 38. Lancelot Smither, who died at 36. William Sansbury Ory, died at 18. Uh, this brings a total to 151 battle-capable men, with possibly another 34 sick and wounded also at the Alamo. This is a part of the debate of how many uh, defenders there were at the Alamo. Travis was 26 years, old at the t 26 years old at the time of his death. Once again, age 29 at the time, rode into the Alamo with William Barrett Travis. Among the defenders who died with the Wands, uh, cousins, uh, the cousin was uh, Demacio Jimenez. And Demacio had a couple of cousins there, uh, Gregorius Barza and Terribio Lasoya, plus Terribio Lasoya's uh, brother-in-law, Ila Melton. Uh, Esparza was 34, Lasoya was 27. Uh, both uh, Terribio and Gregorio were joined in the Alamo by their wives and children, as did Almer and uh, Dickinson. Juan's cousin was uh, Francisco Ruiz and was the acting alcalde of Behar at the fall of the Alamo, and was forced by Santa Ana to point out the bodies of the, of the leaders of the Alamo. Two unconformed reports have the dead Tejanos uh, defenders having their heads chopped off by the Mexican soldiers. There's two reports on this, but it's not taken as canon, so uh, take that lightly. Uh, Juan Almonte notes in his diary that they're heading to Hoya. F.W. Johnson, the general counsel, he has 530 men, left 100 men in the Alamo, but needs 50 more to defend it. Imagine what those men could have done at the Alamo if they uh, hadn't done the su uh, suicide march to Madame Morris. Okay, this is Alan Spare with this day in Texas History 4, February 3rd, 1836. I will see you tomorrow.